Dallas Mavericks point guard J.J. Barea back in Dallas following a trip to help the people of Puerto Rico. Mavs owner Mark Cuban gave Barea full access to the team's jet to deliver supplies and help some people with special situations get off that island. Fox News Dan Anglin is at Dallas Love Field where Barea arrived last night. Yeah, Clarice, the need is so great. JJ Barrera is already pondering a second trip to Puerto Rico, but first he is pointing out his gratitude to Mark Cuban and for his Maverick family's generosity. I texted him. Five minutes later, he goes, Check your email. And I was in contact with all the guys, all the, the pilot and all the guys that run that, the Mavericks plane. <laughs> Back on the court less than 24 hours after an emotional turn of events, JJ Barrera describes how reaching out to Mark Cuban set in motion a short mission trip to Puerto Rico using the team's jet. A lot of water, water. Uh, we took like 32 generators. Walmart gave us 15. The other one's my foundation bought. Uh, uh, medicine. The MAV star, along with his wife and supporters, not only delivered supplies among the widespread damage, but they spoke to many, offering hope, and returned to Dallas with some of his family, including his mom and grandma. Emotionally, yesterday was a little tough, you know, when my mom saw me and all my other brothers are in the States too, so she was out of contact, but now they're good, you know, they're here. 13 made the trip. However, they returned with about 30 people, some with special needs. When we were about to leave, an uh, old couple came over. Uh, that the, His wife was having a transplant in Maryland. They couldn't get out of Puerto Rico, so that's permission if they could get on the plane. We checked it out. It was all good. A thankful and compassionate Ferreira today is thinking about a follow-up trip to help even more. See if we could get one more. I think Mark is up for it. I don't think people know how really how bad it is. They know this bad, but they don't really know how bad it is. We're in an emergency, completely emergency down there. Well, there's no firm plan uh, for that second trip just yet, but JJ points out that he has four 18 wheelers that are filled with supplies and they are ready to go.